Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 29 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we start off with two premises. One, that we have a number A, which is prime, and we have another, another number B, which is not measured by A. And this proposition states that if these two conditions are true, then A and B are relatively prime. So to prove this, we're going to do it by contradiction. So we're going to start with the assumption that A and B are not relatively prime. So that there is a common number C, which measures both A and B, where C, of course, is not equal to 1. Now, since C measures B, and we know that A does not measure B, then we know that A does not equal C. Now, C measures A, and it also measures B. But A is prime, and A is not equal to C. So if A is equal or is measured by C, but not equal to C, then A is not prime. And that is our contradiction. So our original assumption that A and B were not relatively prime is incorrect, which leads us to that A and B are relatively prime. So to recap, if A is prime and A does not measure B, A and B are relatively prime. 